Hey you, welcome back. Next up on my summer of 2024 reading list was Claire North's 2014 novel, The First 15 Lives of Harry August. This book mishmashes sci-fi and fantasy with a sort of time travel that's more Groundhog Day than it is the time machine. And it does all this in an incredibly unique stylistic voice that has really endeared Claire North to me in a big way. The book follows Harry August, who is a Kalachakra, which is a person who is reborn repeatedly with the memories of their previous lives intact. Each time Harry dies, he is reborn in the exact same circumstances, destined to live his life over and over again, albeit with the knowledge and experience from his past iterations. Harry's journey begins in England during the early 20th century, where his first life is mostly unremarkable. But upon being reborn, he slowly comes to terms with his unique situation and over several lifetimes learns to make the most of this cyclical existence. He eventually finds camaraderie and community in an organization of other Kalachakras called the Cronus Club, and these characters share knowledge across generations in order to warn each other of significant threats. The plot takes a compelling turn when, in his 11th life, a young girl appears at Harry's bedside as he lies dying, bringing him a disturbing message that the end of the world is approaching and it's happening faster and faster with each cycle. As Harry attempts to unravel this mystery, he discovers that another Kalachakra named Vincent Rankis is working to accelerate the speed at which technological advancements proliferate temporally in an effort to transcend the limitations of their condition. This locks Harry in a battle of wits with Vincent, who he befriends and then betrays over the course of their many lives. The cat and mouse game between these two time travelers is incredibly tense as the narrative builds to what is ultimately a profound examination of the consequences of ambition and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. One of the central themes in this book is the notion of time and immortality. By following Harry through his multiple lives, North takes a peek into the psychological implications of immortality. How does a person change when they live not once, but potentially tens, hundreds, thousands of times? Harry's sense of identity shifts across each lifetime, forcing him to grapple with questions of purpose and the value of existence. There is a subtle exploration of the ennui that can come with this endless repetition, and Harry finds meaning in small acts of defiance and the relationships he forms, even knowing that most of it will be fleeting. The nature of power and responsibility is also explored here. Vincent obviously represents the dangerous potential of knowledge when combined with ambition, and his desire to transcend the limits of the Kalachakra's cyclical lives leads him down a path of destruction, willing to sacrifice anything and anyone for progress. Harry, on the other hand, embodies a more cautious approach, showing the ethical dilemmas faced by those who hold immense power. Another important theme, perhaps the most prevalent theme found throughout this book is memory and its role in shaping identity. Harry's detailed memories of his lives make him acutely aware of his failures and his triumphs, blurring the boundary between his past and present selves. His relationship with memory often mirrors our own relationship with the past. What should we hold on to? 
What should we let go? How can we use our experiences to not only better ourselves, but to shape a better future? The first 15 lives of Harry August is a wild and weird book that refuses to be anything but fully engrossing. North's authorial voice shines throughout with long, intricate sentences that served to draw me deeper into the book's twists and turns. Her prose is rich and layered and filled with a sort of casual elegance that, as an aspiring author, makes me so envious in the best way. Harry himself is a compelling and flawed protagonist whose motivations evolve over the course of the 15 lives he lives in the book. He is definitely not a perfect hero by any means. He makes mistakes, he carries regrets, and he occasionally acts selfishly. But this is precisely what makes him so interesting. Even though he has lived many lives, it's his humanity that makes his struggle against Vincent so relatable and gut-wrenching. The only real criticism I have of the novel is its length. At just over 400 pages, there were, for me, moments when the narrative tended to meander a bit, and I think that certain plot lines could have been resolved more succinctly. While the very nature of the book allows for some seriously detailed world-building and philosophical musings, trimming down some of the details from the less consequential lives might have sharpened the pacing and kept the story a bit more consistent. I'm thinking specifically of a few lives that involve Harry's interactions with a serial killer that doesn't really seem to pay off in any major way that I can recall. I would say that this is a minor gripe, though, compared to the overall experience. The climax and resolution are exceptionally well executed. It all builds in this crescendo of tension as Harry and Vincent's conflict reaches its inevitable conclusion, resulting in an ending that is both heartbreaking and tremendously satisfying. North does not shy away from the emotional toll of what Harry is essentially forced to do, and the final pages left me with the same bittersweet sense of completion that Harry must be feeling in the book's final moments. The First 15 Lives of Harry August is a stunning work of speculative fiction. Claire North has crafted a narrative here that is both terrifically entertaining and deeply thought-provoking, filled with interesting characters and concepts, fascinating philosophical questions, and a plot that twists and turns in wild and unexpected ways. This is a book that definitely demands your full attention, and even then, its mechanics might take some serious brain power to fully wrap your head around. But despite this and some minor pacing issues, this book stands out as a fantastically well-crafted story that toys with our understanding of time and identity. In my tier ranking of the books I've read in 2024, I place the first 15 lives of Harry August right at the top of the liked it tier. This is a four and a half to five star book that I just almost loved, but not quite. I think there's a near perfect 300 page novel somewhere in these 400 pages. With all that said, this was my first experience with Claire North and it certainly served to whet my appetite for her authorial voice. And I am now very anxious to dive more deeply into her body of work. If you've read the first 15 lives of Harry August, I would love to discuss it with you down below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.